everyone, I'm Amy Marker for AMI Cobbler, and today I'm going to show you how to contour your face. Hey everyone, my name is Amy Markham. Today I'm going to be showing you how to contour using drugstore makeup. And my model today is Jamie from England. Hi everyone, yep, yeah, I'm from England and now I'm living in LA. Yeah, I love her accent. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> today I'm going to be using um, L'Oreal True Match. It's a blendable makeup in... Um, uh, C6 Soft Sable. Um, it's like $8 at like CVS or something and what I like about this is that it's a cream so it blends really really well and you can also set this with the powder. And to be setting the contour and to be kind of placing it on the face I use this e.l.f. contour brush like $3 from Target. You kind of just work it into the brush like that. Okay so I've already have the product onto the brush. What I'm going to do is kind of work it into my hand so that way I don't have too much when I apply it to her face. And so when you look at your face, she has really good cheekbones. So what you want to do is you really want to highlight and bring those out. So the best way to do it on your face, just kind of like a standard thing to do with contouring, is kind of do it in a three shape. So you're going to start up right here at the top of the head and do the temples right under the cheekbones. Can you make a fishy face? There you go. You want to get that nice line right there. <laughs> then we need to go right underneath the chin. So we'll do that side of the face first. And to blend that, I'm using this. It's a goat hair makeup brush. It doesn't really have a brand, but it, you can get them at any store. Okay. And then um, you just kind of work it in with the brush. This is a clean brush. You don't want to have any sort of makeup on it whatsoever. And you just want to blend it nicely right into the hairline. This is like every model and celebrity's super secret to getting a nice chiseled face. It can easily help you lose like 10 pounds, uh, 10 pounds right into your face without actually having to lose any weight. Alright, so I've already did one half of the face and you can already see it's kind of giving her some nice color and it really makes her eyes pop out as well as her lips because that's the highlighted area. Okay, so what I did, if you can look at her face, is um, we kind of blended just the outside in a three shape. And when you look at her face, you can see nicely that the area around her eye is nice and highlighted, so it really brings out the color in her eyes. And it really highlights the brow and the whole eye together. And then you can see her nice cheekbones, and that's a great way to add some blush because it'll really highlight that area. And then you can also see the corner of her lips pretty light as well. And so what it really does is it makes your face nice and chiseled, sculpted, without ever ha ha actually having to do any plastic surgery whatsoever. And it looks great in photos. And so what I use to highlight, because every time you contour, you need to highlight. Um, anything you want to hide, uh, you put, you know, the contouring cream, like the darker color, because that'll give like a receding effect. And so um, now what we want to do is really bring out her cheekbones right above her eye and maybe a little bit by her chin. What I use is Glamouflage. It's an awesome concealer from like Walmart. Um, it's by Hard Candy and it's super, super thick. So you don't really need a lot. And it comes in a tube like this and you just squeeze a little bit to the back of your hand. A little bit goes a very long way. And right now I'm using this uh, flat concealer brush by Sony Kashuk. Um, a good concealer brush is important because you can use it to edge up your brows, you know, underneath your eyes. Um, and it really helps give a, a good clean uh, application. So what you're going to do is, I kind of do mine in lines, kind of like this. One right above the head, one this way, and then one right above the brow. And to highlight her cheekbones, we're going to do this. this. And you don't want to go too far, but you just want to make sure that it's kind of in the area that you need to be in, because it's just going to be blended anyways. Alright, and to blend this quickly, um, we're going to use our e.l.f. Uh, small stipple brush, again from the drugstores, and then we're going to be using just a regular sponge. Alright, so as you can see now, it looks a little bit crazy, but we're going to blend that. <laughs> and so to kind of set and blend this, we're going to be using MAC Studio Fix in uh, C4 with our Sephora, I don't know, Kabuki brush. Yeah. I always tap off the excess because sometimes, you know, like you get too much on the hair. So what I'm going to do here is really work that in together. All right, and then to just kind of bring out kind of what we set in the first uh, in the first contour, and go back in with your brush. Don't add any extra product on it. Just use whatever you have, and just work it in. 
So, um, one of the main things in contouring, you know, besides highlighting your cheekbones, your chin, and your eyes, is a lot of people do want to straighten and slim their nose without actually having to go under the knife and getting surgery done. So she's already got a great nose, so we don't really have to do much, but, you know, if your nose is something that you do want to slim and sleek out, then all you have to do is take a little bit of the cream uh, makeup onto your brush. Not a lot, because you don't want to look like a... As you can see, I just drew like a little line right there, and I'm gonna go back and take my. And I'm gonna go back and take my blendy brush with no product on it whatsoever, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that into um, right where it begins into her cheek, to the side of her nostril, and right up into her brow, just a tad bit. Go back with your concealer brush with just a tad bit of concealer and highlight straight down the nose. To set that, we're going to be using our the same brush again, the Sephora um, Kabuki brush with a little bit of MAC powder, Studio Fix and C4. Just blend that in nicely. Alright, there you go. Now, as you can see, this half of her face is nice and chiseled and very um, bright and contoured. And the other side, it's nice as well, but it's just not as defined. <laughs> Okay guys, well I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, I just want you to remember that you can do the same sort of techniques and applications that real makeup artists use in, in photo shoots with drugstore makeup. You don't have to spend a fortune, you can use very affordable products and you just need to learn your technique and learn to apply it well. And I just want to thank my beautiful model Jamie for letting me, you know, show you guys my contouring on her. <laughs> and let's thank the beautiful makeup artist Amy, who's wearing a t-shirt that I should be wearing. Yes. <laughs> so thank you very much for my makeup, I love it. Yes, so leave your comments in the link below, and we'll see you guys next time. We'll be making much more videos. Bye! Bye.